Welcome, welcome to my new Grimdark channel. Thank you for stopping by, and I hope we can learn together. Though I know a little, considering Warhammer will soon be thrust into the mainstream with the upcoming television show starring Henry Cavill, I am looking to rebuild my knowledge from the ground up. Because my channel will focus on learning together, I urge you to comment below any additional information you may know, any topics you think I should cover, or God forbid, any mistakes that I make. I also want to introduce you to my friend, Artie Aww. the Astartes, who will accompany me on my journey. Artie, say hello. Come on, Artie, say hello to the nice people. Fine. Sorry, he's always busy reading. But without further ado, let's dive in. Now, I understand that this is not necessarily canon anymore, but I wanted to start my journey with learning about the possible origins of the Big Daddy himself, the Emperor of Mankind. My first video will look at his original origins, as per other lore videos that I've seen and information I have read. Please let me know if you guys still think this is his origin or if you have other origin stories you consider more likely. Before we discuss his origin, let's take a quick look at who the Emperor of Mankind is, as he pertains to the 40k universe. The Emperor of Mankind, often simply referred to as the Emperor, is a central figure in the Warhammer 40,000 universe. His true name and much of his early history remain shrouded in mystery, adding to his aura of enigmatic power. He is known for his immense psychic abilities strategic brilliance, and his role as the guiding force behind the Imperium of Man. The Emperor is a symbol of both hope and oppression in this grim and dark future, where he is revered as a godlike figure by many, yet his vast empire is marked by tyranny and brutality. After a brutal civil war with his son, known as the Horus Heresy, the Emperor, though victorious, sustained terrible wounds, and as a result, he resides atop the Golden Throne, a life support device that sustains his shattered body and allows him to continue his psychic vigil over the Imperium. His existence is a precarious balance between life and death, and the fate of humanity is inexorably linked to the survival of the Emperor on his psychic throne. Our interest today, however, is the Emperor's origin, as I mentioned before, from what I can see, this is no longer considered official canon. However, it was his original origin, and from my understanding, many speculate it still to be true. Our journey starts in the distant annals of time, in the heart of ancient Anatolia, a saga of profound significance unfolded, the story of the Emperor's creation. This enigmatic figure, the central pillar of the Warhammer 40k universe, has been rumored to have emerged from a desperate, world-altering decision made by a group of Neolithic shamans. These ancient mystics were the first humans to manifest psychic powers, a direct link to the chaotic realm of the warp. As humanity evolved, so did these psychic abilities, and with them, the potential for great peril or salvation. As humanity's collective psyche expanded and deepened, so did the ripples it sent into the warp. Now, the warp is something we will be discussing in detail throughout our time together. However, for now, simply think of the warp as a sea of psychic energy, used for both a source of power and a maelstrom of chaos. This great sea of energy reacted to the burgeoning human psyche. The warp once relatively tranquil, grew turbulent, its denizens sensing the surging emotions and desires of mortals. The shamans, attuned to the psychic tempest brewing in the warp, foresaw a grim future. They realized that their power, their ability to reincarnate into new bodies after death, was fading. Each death now threatened to plunge their souls into the voracious maw of demonic entities lurking within the warp. Confronted by the inevitable extinction of their kind, the shamans convened a great gathering, an assembly of minds and spirits that would chart the fate of their species. Beneath the stars of an unsuspecting galaxy, 
and amidst stones ancient as time itself, they grappled with cosmic forces that held their world in thrall. However, amid this somber gathering, a daring idea took root. The shamans would need to undertake a desperate gamble to ensure the survival of their psychic legacy. They resolved to merge their collective psychic energies and souls, both cleansing the warp and forging a being beyond mortality, the new man. It was a plan born of both desperation and hope, but it was all they could do to ensure the survival of mankind. With their decision made, thousands of shamans ingested a potent brew, a concoction which slowly shed their mortal shackles and bound their souls together. This elixir gave birth to the new man, an entity transcending mortality and the transformative poison coursed through their veins. Life surrendered to death. Their souls, finally liberated, consequently merged into an incandescent confluence. A surge of pure psychic power flowed into the immaterium. It was a cleansing, purifying fire, an imperishable flame born from the confluence of the desperate souls. A year later, in a quiet Neolithic settlement nestled amidst Anatolian hills, a child was born. To all outward appearances, this child was ordinary, born to a loving family, part of a humble household, with normal siblings. Yet, within this child lay the culmination of the shaman's sacrifice, an extraordinary force of psychic power, boundless in potential. The child, destined to become the emperor of mankind, bore a divine birthright. He carried the legacy of countless souls, each imparting wisdom, experiences, and boundless psychic strength. His genetic composition had been altered in the womb, granting him immortality, freedom from the cycle of reincarnation, and immunity to the predations of demonic entities within the immaterium. For over 38 millennia, the Emperor walked the Earth, an immortal observer of humanity's achievements and trials. He journeyed among diverse peoples, a mysterious figure often veiling his true nature behind a facade of normalcy. His ancient wisdom subtly shaped the course of civilizations, fostering efficient governance, agriculture, technology, and peace. He became an enigmatic but profound influence on human history. As time unfolded, the Emperor closely observed the evolution of humanity, keenly aware of its dualistic character, both their ability for good and destruction. Simultaneously, the Chaos Gods, who resided within the warp, becoming consciously aware of the Emperor's immense power, slowly awoke. These gods, Korn, Ziench, and Nurgle, each embodied the primal instincts of humanity. Now, these Chaos Gods are beings I am sure we will discuss in great length during our time together. However, for now, all you need to know is that Korn is the Blood God of Violence and Martial Prowess. Zench is the Changer of Ways, known for schemes and sorcery. Nurgle, who is my personal favorite, is often referred to as the Lord of Decay, associated with disease and resilience. And finally, Slanesh, the Prince of Pleasure, and Arty's favorite, represents hedonism and excess, and was actually only later awoken by a different species in the 40k universe, the Eldari. As the dark age of technology waned, and more individuals manifested mutant psyker genes, wielding the formidable power of the immaterium, humanity faced the perilous consequences of uncontrolled psychers during the onset of the Age of Strife. In response, the Emperor recognized the necessity of a more overt and proactive role in human affairs. Subsequently, following the cataclysmic birth of Slanesh, following the Eldari's fall in the 30th millennium, and with the cessation of the warp storms that had long hindered interstellar communications and travel from the Sol system, the Emperor resolved that the moment had arrived to directly shape humanity's destiny once again. It was an imperative 
driven by the looming specter of the extinction of the human race amidst the tumultuous era of old night. I just want to thank you for watching the first of hopefully many videos where we can explore the grim dark universe of 40k. All artwork used in the video is created on mid-journey by me, including those I used for the infinite loop style, so if any of the images took your fancy, be sure to let me know in the comments below, and if there is enough demand, I will create a discord so you can download them for free. And remember friends, from the ashes of battle, may the Emperor's light guide your way, for in the grim darkness there is hope. <laughs>